So we're just on the way back from a conference we were at in Larbert in Scotland with the Free Church uh, continuing and we've stopped off in uh, Fenwick uh, and there's a number of uh, Covenanters who are buried and remembered here and uh, one is the minister uh, William Guthrie who wrote the Christians uh, great interest and he's remembered here I don't believe he's actually buried here but he was a minister in this church. I'm not going to try and read um, the the words here. It's quite hard to read, but it does mention that he is the author of the Christian's uh, great interest, and you probably can't even read that yourself. So it's, uh, but that's a memorial to uh, William Guthrie. And then there's a, another one over here. I'm not going to cover them all uh, because there's quite a few in this graveyard. Here's an easy one to read. Um, it says, Erected in memory of eight men from Fenwick who fought for the covenanting cause and perished at sea. And you have their names uh, written there. Captured at the Battle of Bothwell Bridge in 1679. They were imprisoned in Greyfires. Of course, this was the, the context of this is that they were persecuted for wanting to worship uh, God according to their conscience. Uh, and they were uh, persecuted because the those who held to the Church of England um, form of worship wanted all to submit uh, to that. We have also one here erected in memory of Robert Buntine, who was um, uh, executed at Glasgow, December 1666, and James Blackwood, who was executed... Uh, December 1666 and so on but probably a, a very interesting one because um, there's two friends over there in the distance that is also with us from the conference but one of the most interesting one and that's because we the reason I say the most interesting is because we actually met um, a descendant of one of the ones that's mentioned just a few minutes ago we, we met a descendant of George Woodburn who are from Chicago in uh, in the US and they were actually passing by here to actually look at this grave and we have here the dust of John Fergusill and George Woodburn who were shot at Midland by Nisbet and his party in 1685 and then we have the words when bloody uh, prelates once these nations pest contrived that cursed self contradicting test these men for Christ died did suffer martyrdom and here their dust lies waiting till he come and uh, that's a good memorial as i said we met an actual descendant only a few minutes ago or about a half an hour ago of george uh, woodburn who are uh, over from uh, chicago uh, in the u.s you can see another one there in the distance i'm not going to the ones with the green tops are um are covenant or uh, graves and i think the the numbers for Covenanters who died during that time was about 18,000. Am I right, Billy? About, 80, about 18,000. So some of them are buried uh, here. So we give thanks, especially for uh, Reverend William Guthrie, who wrote that tremendous book, The Christian's uh, Great Interest. So um, hopefully this is uh, some blessing. Uh, sort of a different video than normally goes up on, uh, but hopefully it's a, it's a blessing to your soul that those who died for Christ are now in glory, uh, giving praise uh, to his name, that they were faithful uh, unto death. May God bless the memory of such men and make us men that will follow in their footsteps. Every blessing for now.